When you invest in a company, you're essentially buying a small piece of that business. As a shareholder, you're hoping that the company will grow and become more profitable over time. One way that companies share their profits with shareholders is through dividends. Dividends are payments made by a company to its shareholders, typically in the form of cash. Think of it as a thank you from the company for investing in them. Dividends can provide investors with a steady stream of income. This can be especially helpful for retirees who are looking for ways to supplement their income. Dividends are not guaranteed, however. Companies can choose to increase, decrease, or even eliminate their dividend payments at any time. There are two main types of dividends, cash dividends and stock dividends. Cash dividends are exactly what they sound like, payments made in cash. Stock dividends, on the other hand, are payments made in the form of additional shares of stock. No matter what type of dividend a company pays, the decision of whether or not to pay a dividend is an important one. It's a decision that can have a big impact on both the company and its shareholders. Deciding whether to pay dividends and how much to pay is a complex decision for any company. It involves balancing the interests of shareholders with the need to invest in future growth. On the one hand, companies want to reward their shareholders for their investment. Paying dividends is one way to do that. A healthy dividend can attract and retain investors. This is especially important in competitive markets. On the other hand, companies also need to reinvest their profits back into the business in order to grow and remain competitive. This might involve things like developing new products or services, expanding into new markets, or simply upgrading equipment. The decision of how much to pay in dividends is also influenced by a company's financial health. A company that is struggling financially may need to reduce or eliminate its dividend payments in order to conserve cash. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to pay a dividend is a strategic one that should be made based on a company's individual circumstances. Romania, like many nations, walks a fascinating line between its own unique characteristics and the influences of the larger global stage. Understanding Romania's business environment is essential for understanding the dividend decisions of Romanian companies. Romania has experienced significant economic growth in recent years. This growth has been driven by a number of factors, including its membership in the European Union, a growing manufacturing sector, and a young and educated workforce. However, Romania also faces a number of challenges, including corruption, bureaucracy, and a lack of infrastructure. These challenges can make it difficult for businesses to operate and can deter foreign investment. Despite these challenges, Romania remains an attractive destination for businesses. Its low labor costs, strategic location and growing consumer market make it a potentially lucrative market for companies looking to expand their operations. Section 4 EU regulations and their impact. As a member of the European Union, Romanian companies operate within a framework of regulations that impact dividend decisions. These regulations are aimed at creating a stable and transparent business environment across the EU. One key aspect of EU regulation is the emphasis on corporate governance. Companies are expected to operate in a transparent and accountable manner with clear guidelines for decision making including dividend policies. EU regulations also impact taxation related to dividends. Understanding these tax implications is crucial for both companies and investors. These regulations can impact the net return investors receive from dividends. While these regulations provide a framework, Romanian companies also have to navigate local market nuances. These nuances might relate to investor expectations, traditional business practices, or the competitive landscape within specific sectors. Section 5, Connecting the Dots, Corporate Finance and Your Wallet. The principles that guide dividend decisions in the corporate world might seem a million miles away from your own personal finances, but the reality is that these concepts are deeply intertwined. Understanding how businesses think about risk, return and long-term growth can provide valuable insights for your own financial journey. Just as companies make decisions about whether to pay dividends or reinvest profits, you face similar choices every day. Do you spend your entire paycheck or do you save and invest a portion of it? Every financial decision you make involves a trade-off. 
Spending money today might provide immediate gratification, but saving and investing means prioritizing your future financial well-being.